Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your boy Yashwe Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, I would like you to kill them on and smash that little subscribe button and also to ring that bell notification. Okay, so if you got a mouse like this, okay, so this is Havik Havit programmable mouse. Okay, I believe it has 8000 DPI's and the model number is you can see uh, HV MS7. 33 okay hv ms 733 okay mouse for gaming and office uh usage and you can see it's wired it has rgb all right so if you do have this kind of mouse so uh well if you don't know and uh yes this mouse does have a software and today i'm going to show you how you're going to use a mouse software to fully uh optimize this mouse uh, you can set there are multiple buttons like left click, right click. This button is DPI. Okay, this one, the first one's DPI. This one uh, is to lower the RGB, like to switch colors, like how brighter you want the RGB. And we do have a scroll, uh, scroll button as well. And at the sidebar here, we do have two buttons okay so you can easily um configure those all right so yeah basically i'm going to show you how you, you want to configure the software with this mouse okay with this havoc mouse okay okay guys so what you want to do you want to open your browser okay and you want to visit this link all right all you are all you want to do is paste this link and in this search bar right here so you want to flip the mouse over and you're gonna fit uh, you're gonna find the model number which is ms733 so right here you're gonna write ms733 okay and here you you do have a bunch of downloads okay like the hv ms733 gaming mouse software like version 1.0 applicable to this model and if you bought this mouse with a gaming uh with a mechanical keyboard as a combo then you want to download this one but and there's another version as 2021 version if you bought this mouse uh before the year the it was released after 2021 you want to grab this version and there is a uh, other as well like this one so I'm going to click download on this right here. Okay, it's going to take you to a Google Drive. So you're going to open this, you're going to click this download button right here. Or you can add it, add a shortcut to your Google Drive. Okay, and click add shortcut. So that you don't lose this driver software. So here it's going to say this. Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses, blah, blah, blah. Click download anyway. And depending on the internet connection as well as the Google servers. So now it, it has been downloaded. Okay. So after it downloaded, what you want to do, you want to click this open. And if you don't see it right here, if you don't have this, uh, this right here, if you don't have this IDM, okay if you don't have this idm uh program then uh i believe once you click download anyway it's gonna be dropped down at your browser okay or you can press ctrl plus j on google chrome it's going to open all the download location and you and you're gonna find it okay so yeah once the program starts what you want to do right here as you can see you can uh you can adjust this if you want to change the left click to right click or some special keys like dpi fire key aim you can see that you can adjust all of these buttons and you want to make sure right here so it has six following buttons like this uh, left click right click uh, scroll the scrolling button dpi button this and the fourth okay middle click forward the uh, the fifth uh, it is currently set on back okay so, so when whenever you are anything you are, you want to go back just press this 
just press this right here it's going to go back and this is a dpi loop okay is this right here if you press this one time it's going to loop the dpi from uh if we go into advance you can see it has six levels of dpi like uh the first one dpi one starts with 800 and then 1600 2400 3200 4800 and 8000 okay 800 which is 8000 dpi level six okay so this one is uh you can set it for fortnite if you're about to if you're using this this special um uh gaming mouse for gaming okay especially fortnite and fps games other fps games you you might want to set the dpi to like um dpi 5 okay to 4000 or maybe 6000 as well if you set it right here and you lower this to like 6400 okay 6400 hit apply all right all uh you are gonna notice that it's going to as you can see i applied and you see my cursor right now you, once i you see the cursor how it's moving real fast yeah so make sure that you click the checkbox okay and then you hit apply so i'm gonna re uh, i'm gonna revert it to 3200 dpi and uh, here we have some fire key settings like a repeat uh, firing uh intervals continuously if you know what you're doing then you can mess with those above but if you're only a guy that's gonna use this mouse for gaming and uh, changing the the dpis and uh changing like the lights so right now as you can see the mouse has rgb so right here i'm gonna click on disable the led so i'm gonna hit apply what will happen the lightning the rgb got disabled okay let me re-enable this and hit apply and boom you, you guys can see it now it starts glowing again and the, this is a led brightness you can set it to all or half okay so yeah and led mode led mode you can set it to dpi or multicolor rainbow let's check out the rainbow hit apply and the there is also a breathing speed as well i mean how fast you can set this so if i lower it to let's say two and then hit apply so it's gonna it's gonna take a while to change colors okay it's a light okay so now if i uh do it like i increase it all the way to eight and hit apply now you can see it's going to change light the rgb color it's going to change uh like faster okay like every second it's gonna loop and you can click this i like to keep it on flow light like this so now it's uh it's going to render all the rgb colors which which uh i believe it has 16 million rgb colors so now it's look great so you can see now the rgb okay so and the breathing sp the breathing speed i would like to reduce it like to five okay now it's yeah it's cool all right and if you do uh want to add some macro macro less uh if you are set no delay you can add that delay setting how many milliseconds uh by default the no, uh, the no delay okay you can set it to no delay whatever so i'm just gonna keep it by default right here and we do have another language like russian and german and then english so i'm gonna set it to english and yeah go to advanced in the advanced settings we have the moving speed okay and uh it is uh enhance the pointer precision so as well as for the moving speed I'm, I'm gonna keep it as default which is on six double click speed if you want to double click like double click on the on a on anything okay so how the speed you can increase or decrease and then the rolling speed as well so rolling like the scrolling whatever roll uh, scroll one screen at a time you can check that if you want that but uh yeah i'm gonna move this to four and then hit apply all right now i'm gonna switch back to game mode uh if you want to change these settings 
okay say if you don't wanna uh, if you wanna change uh, the back button to fourth and then move the forward to fifth and here we have dpi loop okay so yeah i don't wanna mess with anything of that so uh i'm just a gamer that will use this mouse for the rgb function okay and the dpi settings like uh whenever i'm gonna use like fortnite okay whenever i'm, I'm gonna game fortnite using mouse and keyboard and then with uh chrono zen so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come into the dpi setting and i'm gonna set this the whole way to dpi 6 and then to 8000 dpi's and then hit apply okay so make sure you click the checkbox not click on those dpi stuff okay so i'm gonna revert it back now because right now i'm making a video and when you feel like you're browsing the web or uh, whatever you're doing like not gaming always kind of lower the dpi so that you you get the feel of the mouse uh, the mouse uh, the mouse pointer you 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 get the feel of it but if you set it to like a higher dpi like uh, 8000 dpi and then you use this thing for uh web browsing you will notice that you you won't be getting that okay you're gonna notice the mouse cursor it's going to move really fast so that you won't be able to apprehend okay so always lower that only for gaming increase it maybe to six four hundred or eight thousand okay let me reapply those settings and once you're done just close it and voila guys so yeah this was it yeah well this was it guys so i hope this tour was helpful uh yeah leave a like on this video subscribe ring that bell notification so i'm trying to uh focus as you can see the havoc programmable mouse model number hv ms 733 voltage 5 volts mouse for gaming and office use okay so yeah uh, well, it's a great mouse. I've been using this over past like six, uh, eight months, and uh, I decided that yeah, this thing does come with a software, and um, yeah, I decided to show you guys how to use a software so that you don't um, you've been using the mouse like with uh, maybe a lower DPI, but this video will help you to use the software and uh, uh get to get better dpis or maybe change uh changing the rgb light mode okay the breathing speed as well and so on okay so thanks so much for watching guys i hope this story was helpful definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe